Okay, so Jane, tell us, what's, what drove you to write this book? Well, I've, I've actually in the past written a lot of books for different levels, for, for teenagers and for primary, but my main experience is with adults, and I've always wanted to write a book for adults, and I know it's, it's quite a tricky market because by the time people are still learning English when they're adults and they haven't quite conquered it yet, um, they're a little bit discouraged and they're, they have a sense of failure often even before they start. They, they kind of shoot themselves in the foot a bit before they begin. They, they, they're not sure they're going to be able to do it. So they need lots of um, interesting, engaging material, stuff that, makes, that helps them learn slowly and, and structurally but also which is exciting and thought-provoking and challenging in, in, sort of in, the, in the content. So I think it needs to be linguistically staged, but in terms of content it needs to be interesting and exciting and, and encouraging them to, to want to engage with the material. So, topics, what do you think, which, what, how do you pick your topics for that specific audience you chose? I find good stories all over the place. I, I watch the news a lot, I take, take things that are happening in the news and research them. The book actually um, has involved a huge amount of research because it's a lot of real content, real stories, real, real people, real places and all that needs to be researched and I, I like that aspect of it and our starting point is often a story or a topic and then from that we see what language emerges and then we home in on that language and develop the kind of key structures that come out of the, the topic, not the other way around. And I think that's quite interesting in Jetstream is it starts with the topic and develops into language rather than this is the present perfect, what can I do with it? It's hmm. yes. the other way. Yeah. So the content basically, the, those, those topics are there to engage the students and activate some interest so that they then later get more involved in the actual Yeah, I think, I think if, if students are interested they will, they will engage and they will use the language and they will read and listen in a way that's almost effortless because they, they, they're motivated to do so. It's not, you know, it's not boring, it's not a struggle and I think that's really, really important.